What does one say to an ancient Nephilim ghost? I suppose you start with... Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. So, here we are, guys. We're on the Asia server. We're going to do a quick playthrough. At least I hope quick. Uh, we're not going to use the challenge with bag. This is going to be how to get to 70, how to get your Hadrig 6-piece on whichever class you want as fast as possible. So, we're going to load into Season 30. Uh, we are going to basically go and take the follower's weapon. Uh, we're going to salvage it. Then we can unlock the node 1 of the altar. Uh, but before doing that, we might go and kill Zoltan Cool if he is the boss. It's not, it's Vidian, so let's just salvage this. We'll remake this game in a sec. And it does look indeed like the Altar of Rights is here. So yeah, this is going to be a guided playthrough. I'm going to talk through everything we're doing as we do it. And hopefully this will show you how to uh, get to 70 as fast as possible. So that is uh, Kill Streaks Unlocked, which is good. I've got the game on hard at the moment. Um, simply because I think that might give us a slightly better chance at a soul shard. And then we're going to go and do the Butcher Belial. No good. We also need to put on the pet, put on the wings. Of course, actually hire the follower as well. I'm wondering if this respawns his weapons. I haven't tested this, actually. Uh, let's check the bounties. We've got Magda, so I think we will take that. Let's just see if we can... Can we pinch another weapon off the follower? Has he refreshed his inventory? No, he hasn't. Uh, that should be fine anyway. Let's just go do Magda. You could, of course, remake the character. Um, and that would refresh, obviously, all the weapons. We've forgotten the pet. It's a bit of a bummer. We'll grab this for a little bit of XP. We want to get to level 2, basically, uh, and hopefully use the explosion to damage Magda. That's the theory, but I want to do a boss bounty first to get some gear, because when we go into the Tristram event and we start trying to kill the Butcher, I think he's going to be a little bit tough, so I think if we get any items, uh, that would, would be handy. I think we might just have to remake a character again anyway. Well, the simple reason that, that without the follower's weapon we might be a little weak source but we'll see what we get out of this uh, drop see if that hand axe is any better it is 50 percent damage that's kind of handy that was a nice slice of luck got ourselves in a uh, pool of reflection which is nice so we're pretty much at level two and a little xp bar at the bottom here and let's hope magda doesn't kill us because that's always embarrassing Embarrassing start to this run if we get squished by her. Uh, we probably won't do much damage to it, but I think once she starts to spawn stuff, uh, we should be able to kill a couple of them. That will hopefully give us our level. Of course, this is faster on easier. These guys are worth XP. There we go. Uh, it didn't kill her, unfortunately, but we do mop her up pretty quickly. No soul shard, which is interesting. Right, so now we've got all this useful stuff. 100% damage on the weapon, 7% damage on the weapon. Put that on, put that on, put that on. Okay, right. Back to town, let's get the pest and go to Tristram. And I can already see people in the chat complaining about the Asia Challenge Rift. It is really toxic. Uh, what do we want? We want the wardrobe. Uh, we're going to put on our cool wings, we're going to put on our little Diablo guy pet, uh, and we're going to go to Tristram, the old ruins. I'm going to go basically down and kill the butcher. I'm hoping this isn't going to be too hard on the hard difficulty, but if it is, we can just drop it to normal. Uh, right, so where is the portal? It is around here somewhere. Is it further down? Must be further down. Of course you guys can watch this and do a little better and not lose the portal. 
But this takes us back essentially to Diablo 1 level graphics. Nothing else changes, everything else is the same. Uh, but it is quite a cool little mode, so it is nice to play through a season start uh, using this. This brings back glorious memories for me, which this Diablo in whatever it was in the mid 90s is when I started my Blizzard adventure, I guess, because this was a great game. Initially playing it through it was really hard, really scary. Uh, I don't think I ever beat it as a kid, uh, but I did like it nonetheless. Now, we may as well try and level up to four because we get Corpse Explosion, which obviously helps us out a lot it does a huge amount of damage uh, we just need to look out for the butcher I'm not sure which floor he's on actually I should have made a mental note of that I think he's on floor two but we're gonna try and massacre burn this level which shouldn't be too bad because we do have of course the node from the altar which is doubling our duration because ultimately if we don't get soul shard by like remaking characters uh, and we could go make another level 1 character, there's nothing to stop us doing that. But if, let's say, we uh, don't, then we kind of want to be getting to level 18 as fast as possible, because that will also offer us access to diamonds with boss bounties. Right, now I'm thinking the butcher is just here on the right. Hopefully. No, it doesn't look like it. Six, not bad. Maybe the butcher's on level three. I can't remember. I really should have played through this a little bit beforehand. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Because you won't be quite as lost. But you can see that even on hard, like the the amount of damage, the um corpse explosion doing right. Butcher is in there. Let's see if we can kill something to get some corpses, because I think he might be a little tough. And the exit is just up here. It doesn't look like there's anything around, so this might be a little rough. Yes, yeah, so he's going to take a bit of time. I think this is worth doing because he does have the chance to drop the soul shard. Uh, maybe we could kite him back to the corpses over here. Yeah, okay, come on, buddy. That's it. This will help a lot. But still not that much. This is like Diablo 4. Ooh, pair of braces. We missed those. Come on, Cormac. Just let him come over here. That's it. Come on. Right, let's see. Will this guy drop us the shard? He does, Stain of Sin. I'm going to guess that that is coded to always drop a shard. Now, we could go back to town at this point and salvage that soul shard. And then, of course, there's a 1 in 5 chance that it would contain the diamonds we need to unlock the second node of the altar. Uh, so maybe that's worth doing because that would save us a little bit of time. So before we go to the next floor, we're just going to go back to town salvage this and hope we get lucky so hopefully of course you get lucky and you do get the uh the diamonds we get diamonds. wow super omega pog look okay well there you go of course if that doesn't happen for you you do carry on to level five you find the magic rock you click it and that hopefully will give you the diamonds right now i'm going to split these out think I think it'll probably only charge as one anyway right so do we have enough reusable parts and arcane dust no but we do have the diamonds which is the most important thing uh, right so we need to salvage as many items as possible now so let's go get the cube and hope we spawn a vision of enmity right so let's just check let's get that on yellow items on 30% damage increase it's good braces is on 4% damage increase again on top of that is handy dandy so we've got five arcane dust there so we need 15 and we've got five so let's go do the cube which is in the ruins of Sesheron. 
Now we do also have the stun rune on uh, bone spikes, so we've got that on. And I think we've also got blighted marrow rune now at level 7 uh, for the bone spear. So again, we'll try and mask a bonus, but it's not really that important. The main thing now is to spawn a vision of enmity to get a dash breath and to get the arcane dust that we need. Uh, the cube is a little bit random. Sometimes it's on the left hand side of this, sometimes it's on the right. I, I don't think there's a discernible way of telling. If anybody knows, uh, do stick it in the comments. Again, we're going to be very liberal with this. If we have to put the game on normal to do the vision of enmity, that's absolutely fine. No problem. But uh, for the time being, we'll leave it on hard because Necro is just very OP. And we did get lucky with that resplendent chest. So that is something. We just need to kill one enemy, then we can press corpse explosion. And uh, off we go. We're going to ignore those elite enemies because they generally the elites are obviously harder to kill, which is one of the reasons why it makes those visions of enmity just a little bit more difficult than regular uh, content. Ooh, Arcane Dust will grab that, so that is another one off the list. Blow these guys up. But the, the issue with Corpse Explosion really is, is you need your first corpse to, to get going. Now at level 12 we get access to the Golem, which is like an on-demand pile of corpses. And that is very handy. So without it, visions are a little tough, because you do have to kill a few things to get going. Uh, looks like we've found the entrance to the second level, have we? I'm hoping, if not, we're going to have to go all the way back. I was hoping it was around this corner, but that appears to not be the case. Still level 10, so that's handy. Once we get this stuff off our nuts, so to speak, uh, we can add in our Fueled by Death passive at level 10 and train Mr. Follower up as well, which will be handy. Uh, fortunately, the EU and US Challenge Rifts are doable. Uh, EU was very easy, barely an inconvenience, as uh, we like to say from screen runs. But the US one, I'm afraid to say, is a little bit harder. Right, and here we go, Elder Sanctum. And we now have, oh no, Golem's 13, sorry, not 12. Right, we'll put Fueled by Death on that just to make us a little bit zippier. Uh, we need to chain up our follower. We've unfortunately activated these enemies before we could get it off. So much to do at the start. Uh, now, if we do spawn a vision, we're going to go for it. We're going to jump straight in it. These guys can be a bit of a pain, but they do drop lots of enemies, which is what this is why Necro is just the best to do this, because we can blow that stuff up. Right, we've got another two veiled um, arcane dust, sorry, so we're getting closer to the 15 that we need. We can initially train Hadric to like level four or five, and that would give us a big power boost anyway. Uh, we could also go back to town now and get the Enchantress weapon, because that recodes at 11. But it looks like we're okay at the moment, so we'll do that if I can remember when we get back to town. Cursed chest. Um, I think this is probably worth popping because it will increase our Vision of Enmity chances. And then we could go get the cube and always come back here. Fortunately, this yellow is here, which is not amazing. Let's see, can we get a vision to spawn? Another blue item, which is going to be handy. Helps us out with our quest to unlock nodes 2 of the altar. Level 14 now, which is nice. Uh, we, I mean, it's so easy to do the mask of bonus leveling with the altar node. We've got so much popping up. We've got the skeletons, we've got the decrapify. Uh, we of course need to swap to the golem as soon as we're done with this. 
Another white item, useful for mats. There's the Vision of Amnesty, so if we go and get the cube, we can come back here uh, and hop in it straight away. But we will go and get the follower weapon. Level 16 now, so we are motoring along through this. This is actually going well. Hopefully it goes this well on actual launch. Get those braces on, get those braces on, get those braces on. Right, and let's uh, truck on a little further to the cube, and we're going to come back and do that vision uh, after we've got it. Just because coming to get the cube is a pain. I kind of want it done. You could jump straight into the vision if you wanted at this point. Go back to town, get the follower's weapon. Uh, but once we've got the cube, I think we're, we should be on easy street. And it should, I think, just be a little bit further into this map. We also need two puts of the golem on. It is difficult to swap your skills whilst you're going through all this stuff. Um, you know, you can't change your skills mid-combat, so you do have to be a little patient. And of course, as I say, if you are struggling at any point, just drop the game to normal. Doesn't matter. The XP is going to come later once the altar level two is activated that'll be the that'll be the biggie really and of course if you're better at massacre bonusing than me it is difficult to do whilst commentating but i am a bit potato at it in general but if you're better you will be able to get like a couple of hundred kill streak i think coming to do the cube um but i guess we run past most of this stuff actually thinking about it because we get to kill it on the way back don't we as we head to our vision and this is where the cube is so that's that done. Let's put Golem on, lest we forget. Uh, which is there. Uh, 18, we get the Flesh Golem. Grab the cube. And then back to that vision. But we will go back to town and pick up the follower weapon off the Enchantress. Because I'm going to guess it's going to be more powerful than the one we've got. And it will help us out in the vision. And again, we will drop the difficulty to normal if we have to, because the main goal really now is just simply to get the Arcane Dust and the Death's Breath. Uh, but we'll have a look at the Arcane Dust situation when we go back to town to get the Enchantress weapon. I'm just going to get a little bit closer to the Vision of Enmity before spawning back to town. Uh, just about kept the kill streak up, but we'll probably run out of stuff because I think we, had largely speaking, emptied this. So delicious little portal. The visions of amnesty is so good for leveling because there is just so much delicious, delicious goodness inside. Right, so we just made it back. Okay, so let's do the salvage of the stuff. We've got eight arcane dust. Do we have 50? <laughs> One short. Can we not salvage this? Oh, we can. We have to manually salvage it. Brilliant. Okay, we can go and do alter level one. Or level two, even. Counting to two, guys. It's difficult. It's early. It's eight in the morning. I'm only just about having my cup of tea. So we can now go alter level two. Uh, so how do we do this? We've, it's already done. It's already done. Brilliant. Right, so we could train Hadric now. Or we can just try and go the full way. We do have to sell our two remaining diamonds, though, to get gold. So there we go. Bang, bang. 69,000. Uh, we might not have mats to craft things, but let's do him up. Let's do him up to there. So we've got him up to rank 6. Uh, yeah, we've got no mats to do anything, so we will have to go and do the Vision of Amnesty first. Uh, right, this says level 1 because we've activated the node, but you can see here, big damage increase. Uh, so let's go back and do that Vision. We're armed with the Golem as well, so... Uh, which is obviously handy. Has he died? No, he hasn't died. We just haven't blown up the corpses. Now, I'm not sure whether these things have been changed. They were dropping death breaths like anything uh, last season. 
So it may well be that they've recoded this so that there are no death breaths. Which would be a real bummer, because uh, that would mean we'd have to go and kill some bounties or live with Hadrig uh, and level 60 stuff. Alright, so we'll drop this uh, down to normal. Just to try and get this done. So we've got the next floor. No, there is the death breath. That's good. Panic over. I was for a terrible moment thinking we're going to have to go and uh, go and run a set of Torment 1 bounties anyway. Uh, which probably wouldn't have been, been much of a problem. But it still wouldn't have been fun. Right, so any upgrades? No. Right, on to the next floor. So drop the golem. And then uh, start corpse generation. Uh, we are still pretty squishy. But we just have to hang out in here just to get the materials, I think. And we're, we're praying like a legendary item will drop. Because that obviously will give us a nice kick in power as well. Uh, this is pretty much the worst floor you can possibly get. Because it's all spread out. And you've got to run around a bit like Benny Hill. Trying to get everything. Get their skellies on him. No death breath. Uh, no legendary item yet. But if we do complete it, we get the bounty mats, and they're going to be very handy. We're going to try and pick up everything it might require as going back to town a couple of times. Just to, like, do salvaging and stuff, but I think we do need to do it. Uh, again, some of these maps are, are annoying, like staircases are annoying. Right, we've got another Das Breath there, so that's handy. Another white item. White items are the best to pick up because we will have materials to do the conversion in the cube. So we can balance our resources a little bit. Uh, and as soon as we get a level 70 stuff, we hopefully will improve our toughness somewhat because we are a little squishy at the moment. Uh, right, pick that up, pick that up. Anything nice to go on? No, 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 no. Okay, next floor. Right, we've got the goblin, so this is the end. Alright, so there we go. So this is complete. Goodness me, that hurts. I'm not, e I'm not even nearly dead either. Few corpse explosions. Okay, done now. Fantastic. Right, let's pop that open. And ooh, only one of each bounty map. I was expecting more. Uh, is there anything else to kill in here whilst we're whilst we're here? We'll try. Just look for those legendary items. Look for gear. As much as stuff as we can grab early on. So powerful. So helpful. Okay, but that looks like all we're going to get out of this. Uh, we can, of course, do the plus rings as well. So that's something else uh, to bear in mind. Right. Pants, belt can go on. Uh, we may as well get the helm on. And then if we salvage all this stuff... Right, so what can what can we craft? We want a two-handed something. Can we train him up? No, we don't have enough gold to train him up yet. Uh, so let's do. Can we do two-handed axe? We can do one of these. I've no idea what level this is, but it, it's two hundred damage, so plus one thousand two hundred extra, and it's got vitality on it, which is great. So we'll train up Mr. Templar with left-hand side choices. We want Bloody Mess Rune to extend the radius on Corpse Explosion. Flash Golem for extra corpses. Uh, and then I guess we'll put Enforcer on. There's nothing really else, I think, overly that we can take for the Necro. So I guess now we just try and basically do the, hard, the highest difficulty we can. 
and uh, see how it goes. So I guess we'll try. We'll try torments, maybe. Um. Oh, we can. Yeah, we just need gold now, don't we? So we just need. We could go and farm soul shards for gold. So that is something we could do. Is that worth it? Is it worth doing the runs of the bosses? We can. Should we go and try and kill Magda on torments and just see if it drops us a soul shard? Because that that's what's going to hold us up now. Basically, we want to get a level seventy item, uh, and the only thing stopping us is the gold. I don't know if we'll be able to do this on torment one. Bit of a risk. Uh, but I think I think possibly worthwhile, risk worth taking. We probably should just be killing all this stuff because we need mats and we need XP. And we've got bone armor now, so that's handy. That does help us out with potentially 30% damage reduction at max stacks. Uh, and this is looking very doable, so hopefully Magda... If we drop the golem somewhat near her, we'll blow up. Which is handy. Right, let's not mess this up. Let's drop the golem. We stun her first. Corpse explosion. Come on, do some work. There we go. Level 20, she's dropped the shard. Drag of Lies, that is another uh, gold injection, which is good. I've got some more gems as well, not that we need them anymore. It is important to try and keep up with the gear whenever you can, because, of course, what we're going to do uh, is just try and build the best character we can. Right, so we're going to remake the game and look for the plus damage stuff because I forgot to do that when we reset the game last so let's just uh, leave this game we also need to get commander of the risen dead on our passives right so what did we get I don't I, do you know what I've just salvaged that soul shard didn't even notice what we got we got imperial topazes we'll just sell all of those we don't need them if it had been rubies we'd have hung on to one So, Templar, last train up, I think we'll go for, actually, go for the cheat death. He's going to die loads because we're not going to give him any gear. Uh, let's train up Hadrig. Right, so we're out of gold again, so we do need to go and do another soul shard. Uh, but, do we have enough to craft another juicy two-handed axe? Let's have a little look. So we need some Veiled Crystals. So again, if we find a Vision of Enmity, we just need a few more Veiled Crystals and we should be good to go. Right, so I'm going to put that there because that is the way I like to play it. Um, just trying to think. Zoltan Cool, he's quite easy, isn't he? Let's see if we can get him to drop us a Soul Shard on Torment 1. It might well be that Torment 1 is coded to always drop a Soul Shard, which of course would be super handy. Uh, again, this is the boss's scale, so this is going to get harder and harder uh, with each kind of playthrough. We do need to be killing people quite quickly. Uh, we're getting mostly done. Mostly done with the corpses. We're not going to be able to do this trick too many times. We get legendary shoulders and no soul shard that time. Resist volition. Ooh, they could be tasty. Right, I think maybe we just go and do the cursed chest leveling from now. Uh, we've got a better belt. Let's ID the shoulders and get them on because they're going to be very helpful. Uh, so we can, we can, ju just trying to think about the veil crystals. I think we're going to have to do another vision of enmity to craft another 
handy weapon. I think it's going to be like this the whole way through. We're going to be jumping into visions uh, just to try and boost up our our veil crystals and our arcane dust. So let's just go do that. We'll keep it on torment one for now. See how that is for curse chest leveling. And I think the curse chest might actually be uh, on the bounty. So that is handy because we will get the bounty rewards for doing it. We'll get the gold. I'll we'll get the extra XP and we will, of course, get the benefits of the delicious chest. And we've dropped our massacre bonus already. We probably should have picked that blue item up. XP shrine, click the chest. And now I guess we just want the biggest streak we can and hope. Uh, that the game drops us another vision of enmity. And then by the time we've done that, hopefully we will have enough stuff to craft the next weapon, the highest one that we can, or have enough gold to train up Hadrig. Because really, I mean, se getting a 70 weapon is massive, because then the next goal after that will, of course, be to upgrade it. Uh, there's a chance we could be doing this on, like, Torment 2 or 3, but I just want to kind of keep things moving along and uh, smooth, smooth as butter. And again, the vision, we might not be able to do a vision on Torment 1 at the moment because you might just simply spawn in and get a floor full of boss mobs, which is really, really difficult. Uh, nice chest plates, so we'll put that on and we're just going to leave the game. We're just going to keep doing this, guys, until we spawn visions to get mats. Uh, and keep going like this. I'm going to leave it on Torment 1, I think. For the time being. Of course, once we get our next uh, upgrade for weapon, we might be able to go higher, like Torment 4 or 5. Do we have enough to craft a two-handed axe again? No, we're just short. So just a few more Veiled Crystals and we'll be able to get that boxed off. So we might even just get these just doing this, this uh, temple run. Because of course there are resplendent chests. We can get just yellow items drop generally as well. So, yeah, I tend to fully explore this zone whenever I come and do it, just simply because the density is really good, so it's great for spawning those visions that we desperately, desperately need. Uh, but once we found the chest, I generally will stop, because uh, that's generally the best part of it over. So once you've found the chest, you want to stop, but up until then, you're basically looking uh, to grab everything. Now, at this point, we probably should stop picking up blue materials, because we're gonna, when we get run short on blues, we will just simply convert in the cube. Because you only get one blue mass for each one you pick up, whereas you get like potentially like up to I think something like crazy like ten on the whites, and you can convert the whites into blues. You can convert the whites into yellows. Uh, again, maybe we could have done that back in town because we do have the death breath to do it. And I've just realised we forgot to check the vendors for the jewellery as well. Right, there's the vision. Um, I think we'll we'll do the kill streak and then we'll, we'll, and then we'll hop in. We'll probably have to lower the difficulty because a T1 vision might just be a little too tough for us. But that's okay. As long as we as long as we get it done, we get some bounty mats because um, we can extract. If we find something nice in there, we can always extract it as well. But we need, we need bounty mats to do that. So again, the higher the vision we can do, of course, the better. But it's just that balance between getting them done and getting the efficiency. All right, another two resplendent chests. Uh, nothing really nice inside. We've now got 30. Oh man, we didn't put commander on. Right, we'll go for dark reaping. Uh, oh, we're not using a scythe, actually. If we were using a scythe, I would say go for that. We'll go standalone instead. Bone armor, we'll go for the stun. 
and I think everything else is uh, good to go. And of course we get the boss floor. Um, so we might have to do this down. Let's just uh, lower this. Lower to, let's lower it to hard. Unfortunately, if you spawn a boss floor, there's not much you can do uh, at level 30. It is just it is just tough. Unfortunately, we've kind of wasted the golem there a little bit. Um, that's a shame. Uh, grab the yellow. Grab the white. I think we've probably got enough now to um, craft the next weapon. So we could just simply stop this. Pick up the yellow items and whites. Ignore the blues. There's another Death's Breath, which is handy. Got the Tower Shield. Level 32. We could do with a legendary item. That would be that would be lovely. Another one. I'm greedy. We want as many as possible. I think this is worthwhile finishing because we will get some more bounty mats at the end. We'll try and kill this guy, see if he drops us a DB. He does not, but he does drop some more yellow items. Pop the golden down. I mean, doing this on Torment, I think, is where you get mucho DBs. So it was slightly unfortunate we got the boss floor immediately. We could have farmed a couple of these floors on Torment 1. That, I think, would have been handy. Another Death Breath there. Another three Death Breath. Thank you, game. Greatly uh, appreciated. Now, it probably, again, is worthwhile maybe going back to town just to salvage all this stuff. Just that we can really get ourselves set with materials. Uh, another Death Breath. Uh, so we just need the next floor to spawn. Of course, we've got no modifiers at all at the moment. If we got if we got lucky and found like the corpse explosion gloves, or found uh, one of the necro sides that's in the pool. That would be uh, very helpful. Hint, hint, game. Hint. Now, oh, there's the goblin. So we are at the end. See you later, goblin. Another Das Breath. More Veil Crystals. Reusable parts. Arcane Dust. We get four of each bounty map this time. Uh, despite it being on hard. Get rid of that. And let's pick up something. No, we didn't need to get rid of that. Back to town, we'll go through all this stuff, put on anything that is better. Uh, we do now have some more gold as well, which is handy. So uh, let's put those on because they're more damage. That is much better. That is much better. That is much better. Uh, this is also much better. We'll just stick a couple of diamonds in it. Uh, and our helmet, that is much better. So let's salvage all that stuff. Do we have enough gold to train? We do. We do again. Okay, so we're nearly at the max level. So let's have a little look on the two-handed axe now. Or two-handed scythe. We've got plenty of mats. Um, I'm not sure which is higher. I think the, the axe might be. So let's do that. Let's see what kind of damage we get off this. Uh, we get 1,800 damage. Does it have vitality on it? No. That might be worth a reroll. Uh, let's have a little look for the Amis. Uh, these don't look great. We'll take the one with vitality. That'll just do us. Right, what difficulty can we do now? Maybe we can do six. I mean, I think we just go for it uh, and we drop it if we can't do it. Always, always chant your arm with these things. Because obviously the more XP we can get, the faster, uh, the better. We just need a little bit more gold. So, God knows whether we're going to be able to do this, but uh, we'll have a little look. If we've got Vitality on the weapon, I think we would be uh, gloriously tough enough to go. 
Uh, six looks a little tough because that took a couple of blasts to knock that enemy down. And in here, sometimes there are really, really nasty mobs. So this could be a little rough. But I'm a little reticent to spend mats re-rolling things. So this is one of the guys who's quite tough. We just want to leg away from him. We want to be a complete wuss. And luckily, we might be able to kill him, dragging him into here. Because all we need to do is if we can get one kill, uh, we can then chain all of the corpses together. Make sure you click the chest. That is my number one mistake. Always when I do this cursed chest leveling is I get so excited at blasting these little bug creatures that I forget that you actually have to click the damn chest uh, to activate the event and get more to spawn. Uh, but this is looking okay. We've got no hope of doing a Torment 6 Vision of Eminency, so as soon as we get in, we're going to have to drop the difficulty. If we get really, really lucky, we'll get an easy floor uh, when we do spawn the next one, and we'll just be able to go straight in and blast everything. Floors Ruby, that's handy. If we can get a helm with a socket. Right, so no, no vision. We'll remake the game, come do that again, and maybe we get a vision next time. Now, I think the strat here will be, you could, of course, swap on to uh, your other character at some point along this. But I just think this is so easy to do on Necro. You'll be at 70, you know, pretty, pretty bloody quickly. And if you do get to 70, then, uh, of course, that's gonna, just going to be so super helpful. Right, so let's have a look and see if we can get some better jewellery whilst we're here. I'm going to say that we need to save gold. Let's not do that, because we do need to save the gold for training up Hadrig. We're 80k, we're not too far off, I think, even with just that one run. So, oh no, we're done. We're done. So this is it. We're now on level 70 stuff. Now at this point, we do want the two-handed scythe, because we're going to upgrade this when we get to 25 dB. So look at that. 3k damage. Uh, let's shove in a little bit of extra damage. Right, we should be Torment 6 viable. Did it get vitality? It did not get vitality. Uh, do we have... We've got some Veil Crystals. We could roll. We could try and roll it. Let's YOLO it to start off with, though. Vitality is basically very important on Torment 6 because it will keep you alive. Uh, that, that is basically the issue. We're going we're gonna to do tons of damage now. We're going to one-shot everything for a little while because we are basically 39 with a level 70 Scythe. Uh, and we just need to spawn another Vision uh, and collect up some Death Breaths and then we can upgrade this into a Necro Legendary item, which of course would be amazing because it is a guaranteed modifier. And then that would be uh, great. Now I'm trying to save the Golem where I can here, just because, I, as I said in the last run, there are some pretty nasty uh, mobs around. So we do want to save the Golem for just in case we run into, uh, I think Bane is one of the, one of the people if we wish to avoid. And his, you know, like arcane lasers on Torment 6 at level 40 something with basically one level 70 item is going to wreck us. We're just going to try and chain everything together. Again, it really hurts to stand in anything on the Necro at the moment. Pop every, everything we can pop, we're going to pop because we're just looking for just anything that will help us out a little bit. Uh, bone armor is completely clutch here because it is giving us that 30% damage reduction which is going to help uh, keep us alive you know pretty uh, pretty importantly so we don't want that to drop right we've got the vision so we're just going to go straight in let's have a little look can we can we cheese something we can cheese something we can cheese it we're dead but we cheesed it so that's fine uh, so this is just how it's going to be we're going to die a little bit I think if we really get squished again I will drop the difficulty because uh, as I say torment six is really hard so let's do four and see if we can actually survive if we had vitality on the weapon uh, this would be doable he's nearly dead the issue basically is we've got no resists and no no real mitigation or defense uh, but we have killed him we've got ourselves a pair of legendary pants as a reward it's the golden pants. This is brilliant. This adds us some damage reduction. 
so a lucky find. Uh, and pro tip, guys, make sure you kill all the enemies before stopping to look at your stuff. He says, and then dies. Oh, oh yeah. If you revive at checkpoint, it doesn't matter. It just brings you back in, bang, in here. Right, leave me alone to look at my pants. I want to look at my trousers, damn it. Right, in that goes that, in goes that. Then uh, we have now the golem cooldown reduction and the toughness. So hopefully that is a pretty, uh, pretty nice find. And we are, of course, just on the hunt for death's breaths now. So you need to make sure you're getting through this efficiently because we want to kill all these yellow mobs, all the blues, because they have got the higher chance of dropping the death's breath. I think we were on nine last time. I made a quick check, so... Uh, right, we've spawned the next floor, which is good. We'll kill this stuff, I guess, just in case. Again, pick up the yellow gear, because as you rocket through these levels, the yellow gear is going to be handy. Uh, we, of course, still have the option of doing the convert in the cube. Uh, let's see, what is this floor now? That was back down. Which way is up? Fond? Yeah, this way was up. Uh, and we can swap to Dark Reaping as well on the passives now. That would help us out, giving us a little bit of uh, survivability. Because it would add recovery when we kill stuff. Let's get the golem off. Can we get him off? We get him off. We've got a sword. We're not going to use that at all, because we, of course, have got a level 70 weapon. But the Forgotten Soul could come in handy. And we've got another thing. We've got a ring. Who knows what it is? Uh, but this, as I say, this is why visions are so powerful for leveling, because, alright, we're taking some deaths, but we're still getting XP, we're finding good stuff, uh, we do need the uh, death's breaths, that's like the main thing now, next goal, 25 dbs, uh, so we'll have a look at the ring, I think, because that'll help us in the next level, it looks like a, it looks like a Lornel Sunstone! That is the damage reduction ring for the Necro, so we get more damage reduction the more life we are missing. If that is the Lornells, this is going to be big. It is, and it's got a socket, which is just perfect, because we can socket our Lodge Gem into it later. So, I've used up all of my EU luck in Asia, guys. This is it. Rip the EU season. This is a pretty mental run through of this so far. Uh, but we can feel a little bit of an increase in toughness. We've got to kill this guy. It's unfortunate, but we do have to do it because he does have the chance to drop us a DB. He refuses to because he's a bit of a git. Um, right, nothing down there by the looks of worth killing. Okay, bosses have got excellent DB drop chances, but of course they are quite tough. Um... They're probably going to kill us, yep. Uh, we haven't really damaged them, so we might have to lower this to two. This will speed it up. Again, it is just tough. You do, It is a little frustrating at times. I will, I will accept that. Um, but if you can get these guys killed, let's drop it to one. We'll try and keep it on one. We've got plenty of corpses to blow up. If this guy would just sod off and leave us alone, then we can blow them up. Uh, what do we get? We get a keystone! Brilliant. Okay, so we can still get keystones pre-70. So that is handy. We're going to pick up this stuff. There might be something that boosts up our character in here. Uh, we've got a much better pair of shoulders. We're going to hang on to the resets. We're going to shove that ruby in there, get that on. We are going to take these 10% toughness boots. Right, that should hopefully be a decent uh, gear boost for us. Let's pick up these yellows, just have a little look. Gloves, 28% toughness. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to have to repair our gear because it is breaking. Um, now, from this point, we are just 
basically just trying to uh, play at the highest level we can. We haven't got any more DBs, unfortunately, though. So that is a little bit poor RNG. Um, the DBs, I think, are best spent in... Oh, that, that was a yellow. Was there a yellow? Yeah, there's a yellow here. We'll go for the yellows because we want those DBs. We again come up a little short, unfortunately. Uh, we'll pick up an amulet because that might be handy. It isn't. Get rid of those blue things. Uh, right, again, yellow. Let's go. Come on, give us give us the DBs. The DBs are on a real dry, dry spell at the moment, uh, which is a frustration. But uh, this floor will help if we, if we didn't have the golem on cooldown. Come on, just don't die before the golem gets out. There we go. We've got another legendary. It's gloves. Please, corpse explosion gloves. Please, 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 corpse explosion gloves. Uh, we've got one DB, which is great. Let's have a little look. It's the grasp of essence. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. We've now got a modifier, guys, for the corpse explosion. Uh, let's go back to town and clear our inventory because we should be able to absolutely murder stuff now. This is insane. I really, really, really hope you get luck as good as this. Uh, we're going to leave those two things in there for now because I'm going to decide what to do with them later. So we get to the next floor before our bone armor wears off. Uh, we do. We just about get it. And this is where the corpse explosion gloves are going to come in handy. These things just come over here so we can corpse them up. Right, unfortunately with the gloves we do tons of damage when we've got corpses. Uh, but they don't help in general. So let's just not die here to this frozen stuff. Plop the golem in between those two guys and boom, another keystone. So that's handy. I'm going to pick up all the stuff. Uh, we might be able to craft some more stuff now, actually. We might have enough mats, I think. So we'll try and finish this. Right, it's the goblin. I heard the ping. So we will drop the golem in there. And then we're going to we're gonna go and try and make some stuff, because I think we've probably got enough mats now. And this is where the... Uh, in, in the season, the... Two-handed scythe! Two-handed scythe! Oh my god, this is where the pet in the season is going to be massive because we'll be able to like salvage all, also salvage all this stuff. What did we guess? We got a blood type blade! <laughs> We've got the corpse explosion gloves and the blood type blade. This is nutty. We can extract this straight into the cube. We don't even have to drop our level 70 weapon. Uh, wow. Okay, so that's going in the cube. That's going on the character. Uh, and we definitely can craft some more level 70 stuff. How are we doing on Death's Breaths? We've still only got 10. Now, Necro has got an amazing loot pool. So you, you of course, won't find uh, these exact items. But you will find things like this. So we can now swap off Bone Spear, go on to Nova. Uh, and then I think we just want the increased area of a fact rune and let's salvage this stuff craft something else level 70 and try and go back up the torment difficulties just to help us out uh, right can we craft sages we don't have enough blue items uh, so that's a bit of a whoopsie we could have done a convert here to get some more blues so we could take a hundred of those so we do need a blue item uh, but let's go back up to like torment Four, I think. Have a little look. I mean, let's sod it. Let's just try six. Let's swing for the fences, guys. Come on. We've got the Nova weapon now. So this, we should be absolutely insane for damage. Because we've got, we've got the Nova weapon to generate corpses. We've got corpse explosion gloves to do uh, mucho damage. We're going to be squishy as hell, though. So this could be this could be interesting. Uh, 
And again, we're just looking for gear. Obviously, big jump points are like 60, 61, 70, of course. <sighs> what I would give for this to be actually be my season launch <laughs> rather than a practice. Um, I keep forgetting we can press Nova. Uh, we need to get this. Now, the Nova has been nerfed, so it isn't quite as OP as it was. Um, but for leveling, I still think it's going to be absolutely the number one choice. So, of course, very lucky to get it. I also need to take a breath, calm down, and make sure that we're actually getting these massacre bonuses off. Some flawless gems, we'll grab them. Now, is it worthwhile still jumping in the Visions of Enmity, or is it worthwhile just simply masker bonusing and trying to stick on, like, Torment 6? Because uh, we can craft some more level 70 clubber now, I think. So it might just be simpler to do that rather than worrying about upgrading. We can do the upgrade as and when the DBs come, because they just generally start dropping in the game, I think, once we get up to, like, 61, possibly. It's either 60 or 61. This also leaves us, I think, in a strong position when we do get to 70 because we're going to have a decent character uh, to just go and blast out the season journey. And of course, with no level requirement on the on the gear, what you can do is simply get your six-piece inner, put it on your level one monk, and basically level on Torment 6 with the full six pieces of inner, which is going to be pretty ridiculous. need to remember keep up the bone armor because uh, without it 30% damage reduction we're going to be a little squishy okay looks like we've reached the end of this we haven't found the, uh, the curse chest but we have found a vision portal so I guess we'll just try chance our arm see what it is these should be a little easier now with this nova weapon uh, boss floors of course will still be an exception Like, we're struggling to kill that elite just about. Alright, what have we got? Uh, nothing of any use. We're at 60 now, which is good. Right, can we kill the bosses on Torment 6? I doubt it. Uh, we do get the next floor, so we could just simply do that. Let's just. Like, I would like to kill the bosses for the Keystones and for the Death Breath chance, but I think um, we've just got to try and pick our. Pick our poison a little bit. Uh, but visions are tough. So we'll, have a, we'll see if we can get this done without without dying again. And if we die again, then I think maybe we'll just go back and do our crafting with a couple more level 70 bits and bobs. Uh, but so long as there's stuff to kill, then we can, we can get it done like that. But of course, what makes it worthwhile is the legendary items. It is the um, the drops because the legendaries will, of course, pair really well with our lodge gem when we get there, when we get to 17, get that unlocked. Uh, I made a bit of a mistake here. Popped the golem. We don't want to be popping the golem. We want to be saving the golem for these guys. It is a little clunky, the golem. There's, there's not much else we can say about that. You, you do just have to get a little bit used to it. Alright, on to the next floor. Uh, we don't have the golem, but we can hopefully generate some corpses. Got the next floor. Pick up the white items. Level 63 now. Uh, oh, we're dead. Everything is very, very hurty. So maybe we should just go back. If we can cruise craft a level 70 chest plate or something. Just something with some vitality on. That will fix our toughness problems. But it's a little bit like building the plane and flying it at the moment. 
so many deaths. As I say, everything just really hurts. But we're not, we're, we're like spitting distance from 70 now. It's, we just can't stand in anything. Any Anything that's got any kind of like poison, fire, molten, arcane, we just can't stand in any of it. Let's grab up some of this stuff. We're just going to go next floor, I think. Right, so let's go and craft. Ooh, 30% toughness. We might not need to, actually. 20% toughness. 48% toughness. That's insane. Right, we should be good to go on toughness now, guys. Again, visions are so powerful. Just getting all this stuff is just so important. Uh, we might not have enough damage. Well, even with that, we still got squashed. Uh, we haven't really damaged them. Okay, right. We need to do convert in the cube, don't we? So we need to take the white items, of which we've got lots, uh, and we want to convert them into blue items. So it is going to cost a DB. But I think it's worth it. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get enough death breath to do another upgrade, but I guess we can't be overly greedy with things. Right, so let's do... Uh, we should be able to do Sage's set. We can't do it in full because we don't have the Veiled Crystals. Again, we should have hung on to a yellow item. Let's let's convert this into uh, some more reusable parts. This is why it's important to pick up the white items, guys, because we can convert reusable parts into veiled crystals. And this might just give us enough to do the full sages set. Uh, so gloves is sages. Yeah, it looks like we do. We have enough. Although we don't want to take off the corpse explosion gloves, but we do have enough mats to get that into the cube. So this hopefully should now be T6 again the whole way. Uh, so we're just going to plop those on. Because Sage's set, of course, gives us lovely bonuses. And this is why I think Visions of Enmity leveling is the way to go. Because we now have corpse explosion gloves in the cube. We could extract our Lornel Sunstone for the max value on that. Um, but I don't think we need to. We may as well hang on to it because the socket, again, is quite powerful when we get to 70. So let's go back up to 6. Uh, we possibly don't even need to go back into the visions now. <coughs> Albeit the Sage's set does give us the double uh, death's breath. Uh, how are we doing for gold? We've got quite a bit of gold. So we might be able to buy like some armour that might be better. Doesn't look like it. We've picked up good gear, I think, whilst we've gone through this. Uh, right, another thing I want to do is I want to take off the Command Skeletons and put on Aura of Frailty. Uh, and that is to give us some extra value out of our standalone passive. And then, look at this now. We've, we've got four level 70 items, uh, including the Sage's bonus. So, this should be it, guys. This should be, should be the way. We can now just uh, whiz ourselves up to 70. And I think that probably... Sages will have to take off if we want to use the Lodge Gem, which is a little bit of a bummer. Right, we've got the chests. That's handy. But yeah, this is this has been a very good run. I'd say the RNG on this run is probably approaching 10 out of 10. I can't I mean of course things could have gone better. We could have got better drops. Uh, we got the we got the diamonds immediately, which of course was massive. We've got the blood tide, we've got the corpse explosion gloves, we've got Lornell Sunstone, we've got the Necro Pants. Um, you know, this is this is like pretty close to perfect. Which, which is good, but as I say, there is a loss in the necro pool, so you know, don't you might not get these exact items, but there are other items you can get that are very helpful too. Uh, we'll 
pick up the yellows just to see if they're any better than what we've got on. They are, but I want to keep those golden pants on, I think. Right, the golem sometimes just dies. He just he looks at it and he goes, no, I don't fancy this. And he, he dies mid-animation like that. Uh, I don't know if that's a, a distance thing, like if he just stood too close to something, he does it. Um, but it is annoying because, of course, you need you need the corpses to blow stuff up. Right, this is looking too difficult, so I'm thinking the strat now, once you get this late on into leveling, is going to simply be to um, abandon the visions at Torment 6 because it's just too tough. So let's do that. We've got double DBs, but I still don't think that's worth it. So let's just repair our stuff, and we've only got two levels to go anyway, so that might just be one more uh, Torment 6 run. We could have dropped that down to like three or four, but I don't think the Death Breaths are that important to us. Uh, they'll just come in over time. We don't need many. We've only got to get the, the Necro up to like the equivalent of Torment 4 to do the season journey, uh, and then we can make the Monk. Uh, and try and remember, try and remember on the Necro to get your bone armor out, because I again that is something I do notice I forget a lot. And the the extra damage reduction, of course, is going to be handy. Now the plan at seventy is going to be to run two rifts immediately to get the log gem, and then that should put you in good stead, I think, to uh, get your just twenty completely busted out. And then all you've got to do is mop up your bounties, pretty much. And you'll be good to go with six pieces of whichever set it is you choose to start with. Right, if we if we do this well enough, we might get we might get to 70 off this chest. Just double checking we've done it. Clicked it and activated it. Bell crystal. Yep, we'll take it. Thank you. Sixty-nine. That's what she said. Well, that's what I wish she said. So, yeah, me. I mean, we might not be seventy. Obviously, the last level, of course, is the hardest. Uh, we probably could have gone and unlocked another node in the altar, maybe. Uh, but I do think the death breaths are worth hanging on to for our necromancer because we do want that uh, extra. And there we go, seventy. So let's go to town.